Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia, Spain. On this farm we have, we produce two kinds of seeds. The one is orthodox and the one is recalcitrant. So, here I have a brown and a green Bellota, the seed from the oak, and I also have a broad bean, and I have an avo seed, and also a custard ad apple, Chirimoya. The seeds from the oak trees is uh, a seed that doesn't allow conditions, doesn't survive conditions below where it, the seed itself, loses its humidity below 15%. And the others they can go down to three or four, five percent humidity of the seed before they are damaged. The three recalcitrant seeds, the acorn and the avo and the mango and citrus, they can also not be frozen uh, they also die because of that. The orthodox seeds, we can do that. It's interesting for me in our harsh conditions that we have the non-orthodox recalcitrant seeds from the acorn, from the oaks, the acorns. Now I have a dream to have a team of 15 people here and we collect 5,000 acorns from the trees. And we plant them and we document it and we see and we repeat that for five years. The purpose to do reforestation here, this farm gets about 40 million liters of water a year in rainwater plus another 60 million liters. We are now into a 100 million liters of water that come to this farm. Uh, some here is less, some here is more. Between 12 and 30, 35 percent of that water remains on the land. The rest just run off. That's why we have swells. Try to get the water to slow down, to spread, to infiltrate. If we can plant 5,000 seeds, uh, about a thousand might sprout and about a hundred of them will become plants, trees. Where should it happen? It's interesting. They do the best under something. This is the retama, the broom bush. And then this is where the oak 
is coming up also the Enthina, ah, the uh, Asabuche, the wild uh, olive. This is a repeating pattern and also where we have rocks. This is the wild olive and then where we have rocks we have some trees, some oak trees, the holm oak. We need to identify spots where we can plant them and it's also good to get mulch from the area of this tree because it carries microbes that is good for the new seedling. The seedlings they grow well the first year, the second, the third year and then usually they die in the fourth year. Um, it has to do with uh, trying to diversify from having a taproot only to more roots, a change over period. The neighbors comment that we have more home oaks than they have. And uh, it's just because there was some care on the side. So where we have rocks, we have quite some trees. Also, the farmers could not plow here and perhaps the cattle didn't like to go there. So we need one person to identify a spot, one to make a hole and put the seed in there, one to close it and mulch it, and then one to document it. But before that can happen, we have to collect these seeds. It's better to collect them from the tree and not from the ground. The different or oh, Mediterranean climate, the zones are categorized in several sub zones of harshness. Um, I know some areas it's actually the harshness is quite low and then it gets to Southern California which is third harshest and then we get ours which, which is fourth on the list and there's only one harshness level below us and that is the Negev and the Almeria areas of the Mediterranean climate. What determines the harshness is obviously the rainfall but equally important is the wind, the uh, Humidity level of the wind here in summer is can be 15 uh, percent and the temperature can be 40 plus and that is the biggest issue in this climate is this it's like flipping a switch from a rainy, cool, green area to 
very hot, very dry, hot air, dry air. Uh, that is what kills most of my plants. What can I do? I can plant trees. I can protect this area from the wind. Unfortunately, my neighbor is removing everything that looks like a tree that is legal to remove. And it doesn't help me. All our hot air comes up this valley, which is open. Uh, much lower down towards the Atlantic. It also brings some fog, but the fog doesn't kill the plants. So where are we going? Plant, plant, plant. Trees, trees, trees. And then try again with this hundreds and hundreds of thousands of speci specimens that we introduced to this farm that didn't make it. So we were just a little bit too early, 10, 15, 20 years too early. So the legacy I want to leave is a farm full of trees and then we can practice agroforestry in the way the people from long ago, the Romans, the Visigoths, the Moors, the Spanish, envisaged. Till next time, Goodbye.